Assisting an injured cat is one of the kindest things a human can do. This woman found a pregnant cat caught in a trap, and what happened next is incredible. An animal lay on the road. It was so dirty that Svetlana wasn't even sure what it was, or if it was alive. She walked carefully closer and couldn't believe her eyes. It was a cat, a very dirty cat, and one that was in terrible shape. She even took a picture because she couldn't believe it. Her leg was caught in a trap. There was no way that she had picked up the trap in town. But how she dragged the trap along with her injured leg while losing blood and getting weaker and weaker was anyone's guess. It was amazing that she managed to do it. She might have been desperately trying to get help, but she collapsed before she could find people. Now, the woman in front of her was her only hope for help. Would Svetlana assist the poor cat, or would she move on like others had before? It didn't look like there was much hope for survival. It could be a lot of effort without any payoff. Many people would leave the cat on its own, and a handful had walked past her and decided just that. Besides, Svetlana didn't even have a car. She was on her way back home, carrying a bag of groceries. How was she going to transport the injured cat to the vet who was on the other side of town? Svetlana didn't care. She could never live with herself if she didn't at least try to help the cat. The first thing she had to do was get the trap off the cat's foot. It was going to hurt, but the cat didn't even try to claw at her. She just kept staring at Svetlana with big eyes. She was either too weak to protest, or she understood that the human was helping her. She moaned weakly while Svetlana took the trap off her leg. It was clearly painful, but finally she was free. The woman then picked her up and went to the main street to find a taxi. The first one that stopped refused to pick up the woman and the cat. He was afraid that she would just get blood on his car seats. It took a while for the next one to come past. The cat wasn't opening her eyes anymore and seemed to be fading. Then another taxi stopped and this time the driver was very kind. He even gave her a small blanket to wrap the cat up in to keep her warm during the ride. At this point, the woman was emotionally exhausted and she could almost cry from gratitude. The taxi driver took them to a vet clinic and refused to take any payment for the fare. He was just happy to do his part for the injured animal. This gave Svetlana some strength. The clinic was filled with animals who were waiting to be seen, but when the vet saw the injured cat and how unresponsive she was, they dropped everything and helped. Her leg was badly wounded, but they would have to clean her up a bit to see the full extent of the injuries. That was when they made a shocking discovery. When she wasn't hidden behind all that mud, they could see something. This cat was very pregnant. Her life might not be the only one that Svetlana saved that day if they could help her to pull through. Her leg was badly injured and she was in shock. They had to get her stabilized and then they could decide what to do about her injuries but she had a long journey in front of her. Besides the wounds that she had on her leg, she also had a dislocated jaw. She wouldn't be able to eat normally for a while, and that was going to have an impact on her recovery. They started calling the cat Rizek. Everyone was already really invested in her health. Svetlana gave all the money she had with her for the cat's treatment, but she would need a lot more care than the woman could afford. At least she was in the best place to get cared for now. That night, Svetlana made posts about the cat on local pages, and the news spread about Rizek and her predicament. What happened next was incredible. Funding for the cat started to stream in. Her story touched many people in the area, and they all wanted to contribute to her care. The clinic quickly got the funds they needed to look after her. It was touching and meaningful since her care was going to be expensive. They had hoped that her wounds would heal, but they weren't. Her jaw was better, but gangrene had set in on the leg. If they were going to save her life, they had to amputate the leg. This was another expensive procedure, but she wouldn't survive without it. At the same time, her body had been through so much, they weren't sure how much more it could take, or if her kittens could survive through it all. After the operation, they gave Rysik a few days to rest and recover, but when Svetlana went to check on the cat, she couldn't believe her eyes. She looked incredible. 
She was getting a lot of love and attention. She had completely transformed and was even running around the clinic on her three legs. The cat was improving daily. Svetlana had hoped that she could take her when she was ready to be released, but she lived in an apartment that had a strict no pets policy. She phoned the landlord and begged him to reconsider, but he wouldn't budge. He had heard that the cat was pregnant too, and a family of cats living in his apartment was even more out of the question. This time, it didn't look like the woman would get a break. Where would the cat go? Luckily, some of the people who had contributed toward her care had been asking about her. One family had recently lost their elderly family cat, and they wanted to foster her while she was healing. The sad cat that was broken and alone on the side of the road now had many people who showed her love, and she even had a home to go to. There was just one more big hurdle that Ryzik would have to go through, the birth of her kittens. They would have preferred to do a cesarean section to get the babies out, but putting her under sedation again could be dangerous. After weighing the dangers, they decided that they would let her have a normal delivery. She started showing signs one morning, and her new foster mother decided to take her to the vet just to be safe. She would stay with her to bring her comfort. Everyone was desperately hoping that things were going to go well. They weren't sure what to expect. It took a while, but after a few hours, the first baby was finally born. But he wasn't breathing or moving. The mother cat smelled him and then laid down. They tried everything, but they could not get him back. It was horrible. All the trauma might have been too hard on the kitten's little bodies. The birth sped up, and it wasn't long before the second baby was out. This time, Ryzik showed a keen interest in the kitten. She licked him, and he breathed right away. He snuggled closer to her. They checked the kitten out, and he was healthy. It was a huge relief to know that she would have at least one healthy baby to show for her trouble. The cat did not need the extra trauma of losing all her babies. For a while, she didn't show signs of labor, and they thought she might be done. But then, one more little kitten made its appearance. This one wasn't breathing properly either, but he was alive. The vet team quickly sprang into action, cleaning his lungs and helping him. Soon, he was doing much better, and they could give him back to his mother. She started nursing both of them as soon as they were returned to her. Soon, they could all return to their foster home, and Svetlana could come to visit the new additions. The family kept them for 10 weeks to give the babies plenty of time with their mother, and to give Ryzik time to heal without any more stress. During that time, Ryzik really bonded with the family, and they couldn't let her go. She was part of the family, and she loved them. In the meantime, Svetlana moved to a new home, and she could adopt one of the kittens. The other would stay with their mother at their foster family, who had now become their forever family. They all had the homes they deserved. Thanks for watching. Join us again for even more incredible stories.